Hello everybody, in this segment I'm going to show you how to use the Abadata website, which is the Alberta database for all the oil well and pipeline information. It contains all kinds of different feature uh, sets, so I'm going to uh, take you through that today. Um, so I'm going to just Google Abadata, and there should be a website there called abadata.ca. That's the one you want. So I'm going to click the abadata.ca. Just uh, as a note, this site works best in a Chrome browser. So if you've got a uh, Google Chrome browser, that uh, will work the best for this site I found. So I'm going to go to the Abadata 2.0 login and I'm going to put in my login credentials. I've given you a uh, username and password in the assignment uh, details. So I'm going to log in and that'll take me into the site and the map will open into a view that looks something like this so just to take you through some of the different components of this site uh, up at the top I've got some uh, map display tools filtering tools reporting tools etc and on the side I've got all of my uh, navigation tools here that you can see so uh, if I hold in my left mouse button down and uh, move my mouse I can uh, pan around if I roll my wheel I can zoom in and out so those are your uh, navigation tools you can also do that here too as well so uh, first thing is uh, you'll notice that as you zoom out more data is filtered out of the, of the view and as you scroll in more information will become visible so as you scroll in to a certain zoom scale so uh, I'm zoomed out I zoom in you can see all these uh, little green squares here these green squares represent townships so townships are just a uh, division in the Alberta township system and uh, um, if I scroll in farther I will begin to start to see uh, certain areas pop up and populate so as I zoom in I start to see things like uh, all of my pipelines and uh, wells and, and things like that so uh, just to uh, make a note though uh, remember these green squares are your township lines that's going to be important uh, for the assignment so uh, when you zoom in uh, what we want to do is find an area uh, that we uh, want to work in so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my map display and I'm going to turn on my county boundaries because I want to find a certain county uh, in Alberta that I would like to work in so in my map display tools I'm going to select the truck terrain section make sure it's checked on and then I'm going to turn on county boundaries okay and then when I click close you should see those pop up as we zoom in so here you can uh, uh, see the different divisions of the counties but uh, you again you have to be zoomed in a certain distance all right so uh, what we're looking for is uh, I've given you a certain uh, number of counties that you can work within uh, so check the list in the assignment details um, and as you know if you come uh, into the assignment I'll just uh, pop that open here for you guys to check out but I've given you a list of different counties in which you can work in okay so these are your uh, counties that you can choose uh, through the app data site you're going to choose one of those counties on the list so make sure it's on that list so as you can see here if I wanted to work within the county of paint earth uh, that does appear on the list I believe I think I can work there um, uh, there it is there so that one's good I could work within that county but pick a county that you want to work within and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a uh, township a specific township to work within so the county's uh, much too big as a whole so we're going to uh, uh, kind of filter that down to the township so I'm going to zoom into a certain township uh, and let's say for instance it's within this township that's the one I want to pick uh, I'm gonna zoom in there and zoom right in as close as I can so I can I can see just my township in there now uh, what you might want to do is uh, when you're picking data in if you go to the terrain section is maybe turn on the rivers and lakes because we're gonna be doing some analysis for this assignment and you want to be able to uh, have some water in close proximity so when I turn on my water I can see all these uh, blue uh, features pop up those are my water lines water boundaries that looks good I'm happy with that if you chose a township where there's no water or there's very few pipelines or wells 
the, the wells are these little points, the pipelines are these red lines here, but if you have a, uh, if it's pretty scarce for the pipelines or the wells or the water, then choose another area. So just pan over to another uh, township or go to another county in total. Uh, this one would make a very nice analysis because I've got lots of water, I've got lots of pipelines, I've got lots of wells. This will work great. So what I'm going to do, once I've found a township, you can see uh, that green line there that uh, I'm outlining with my mouse. That's my township. Now, I want to download all this data. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to make sure I'm zoomed right in as close as I can. Now I can only go in so far. If I zoom in too close, I'm cutting data off of that township line. So I want to zoom out to a, a specific uh, zoom scale. And you'll see I do have some residual or extra information on the sides here. That's fine. I can clip that out later. But uh, this is about as close as I can zoom in. Now, uh, once you're zoomed in uh, as close as you can get, uh, what you're going to do is download the information. So uh, you'll see a little button here called Download GIS Data. That data will that button will appear once you're zoomed in close enough. So if I'm zoomed out too far, like for instance, if I zoom out to here, you'll notice that that download button disappears because I'm zoomed out too far. So I'll just want to make sure I zoom into a, a, a certain area, make sure I've got my uh, township in my view. And then uh, that download button will appear. And depending on your bandwidth uh, or network connection, uh, you may find this a bit laggy. But zoom in to a township. Make sure you've got your uh, green square in the center of your view. And uh, I'm going to simply click the drop down button here. And I'm going to want to select some uh, certain layers to download. So I want the high pressure lines. I want the low pressure lines. I want all of my wells and I want facilities okay so I want to download those as well um, I don't want roads I want to download grid lines so I can see where my townships are uh, but that's about it so I'm going to download in this format and I'm going to download in a shapefile format and for my output spatial reference I'm going to want to use a uh, NAT83 10TM AEP resource okay so we'll download in that format and that's a, a a provincial uh, spatial reference system so it fits the whole province so then I'm going to simply download and uh, it'll extract that data and what it'll do it'll give me a link to download a zip file so once I've gotten that zip file then I can unzip that file and then import the shape file data into my geo database so you'll see uh, the download button appears it's asking me for a zip file um, I'm just going to rename this uh, Abadata Data. It's a lot of datas, and uh, I say save, and then now I've I've got my uh, my shape file that's ready. I'm going to put this in my project folder, but of course I would want to uh, uh, unzip this by just right clicking and extracting all or if you've got 7-zip you can uh, hit this 7-zip uh, and go extract to a folder but uh, extract all will work as well so then we'll import those shape files into our geo database afterwards and that's uh, how you can maneuver through the uh, Avidata site thanks for watching bye